Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we have got a little hush haul for y'all. Now I bet you can't guess what it is. So we're going to play the intro. Okay, so today I got the brand new Bad Habit Lipsticks. Yes, I have a problem, but I have a problem for you guys because I bought all six so that you can see what they all look like on someone who is super pale because I think that's always important um, just to see them on different skin tones, which I, I know, Hush posted them on different skin tones, but let me have my moment, right? <laughs> so we got all six shades. We are gonna swatch all of them. And then wear the darkest one all day today to get you a wear test in. So we're just going to start at the very bottom. I'm going to start with centerpiece. And I'm going to go over this packaging. Okay, so it's just in a plain matte black. Silver says bad habit. Now, these tubes are stinking gorgeous. Like, look at this. It's really sleek. It's got the name right here. You see the color peek through the bottom. Got a little bit of ombre going on. When you close it, it clicks closed so that you know you got it closed, which is perfect because that is the leading problem to why your lipsticks probably dry out way too often. So we're going to move past that and we are going to go ahead and do our lip swatches. Oh, and this has just a plain, regular, angled DOFA applicator. Nothing too fancy, but definitely not bad either. So here goes centerpiece. Okay, so I'm really liking this color. It's got a little bit of, it's kind of like a pinkish mauve. It looks a little more orange when you look at the box. It shows it's going to be a more orange shade, but on me, it's pulling a little more of a pinky mauve. There's like a little bit of an orange undertone, but nothing too serious, but I definitely really like this one. So we're going to take this off and on to the next. Okay, so our second color is called Mind Games. Probably should have started with this. It looks a lot lighter. God, that packaging, I can't. Okay, so we're just gonna go straight into applying this. Okay, so I really like this color too. <laughs> it's definitely a very pink shade. It's got a little bit of a coral, like a little bit of coral in it. Not a whole lot. Super pretty. These are super pigmented. It's going on very opaque, very comfortable, very silky, very creamy, but already dried down to no transfer. Go figure. So, <clears throat> I definitely like, this is Mind Games, and I like it a lot, too. <laughs> okay, next. Okay, guys, so <laughs> this is the color I'm a little bit scared of. Next, we've got Broken Heart, and I don't know if you can see it, but this is pretty orange, maybe a little tan-ish. I don't know, but we're going to try it on and see how it looks. So... Here we go. Okay, so I'm not as scared of this shade as I thought I was. I don't know that it's really my color, but it's actually not that unflattering. Again, correct me if I'm wrong, it may look terrible, but I can deal. It's definitely a little different than it is in the packaging, which could be 
because the way it's frosted down but it ain't too shabby I can deal with that so next color okay guys so next up we have got trophy life which I love the name that's so cute um, and it looks on the package like it's brown but in here it looks a little more mauvey pink I really think I'm gonna like this one so let's go ahead and try this thing on so in true flow lip swatch form my lips are slowly turning into a different shape because I can't get them right that many times in a row and all my makeup around my mouth is gone but here is this it's definitely a super cute color it's got like a dark like grige kind of feel to it if that makes sense I don't know I like it kind of mauve kind of grige a little bit of a purple tint but it's cute though so I've got two more colors to go and this next one I think everybody will love so next color okay guys so here is the shade that I'm so excited about this is like our our red so we're gonna go ahead and try it on and this one is called collide <laughs> okay guys like I told you my lips are just a different shape now that's all there is to it but here is our last shade I think this is a super flattering red I actually made some of my co-workers try it on when it first came in and it looked really good on both of them and they're both different skin tones than me I really like it this one I will be reaching for super often so we have one more shade to try on and we are about to cut to that footage because this is the one that I'm gonna wear all day but collide is a winner and I love all these shades so let's go ahead and get that last shade on and get into our wear test I will see y'all all day long so here we go okay so for today we are gonna test out the color speed dial I picked this because I think it'll go okay with my makeup I'm gonna be brave today and wear a super super dark color to work and also because it is the darkest so this way we will be able to see any kind of fading or anything like that so we're gonna zoom on into these lips and put this on Okay, so that is pretty much one layer uh, y'all saw really vastly, <laughs> but y'all saw that's basically one layer with just a couple little touch-ups. Um, yeah, that is our color for today. <clears throat> it feels really good going on. Um, it's super smooth. I like it so far. Um, we will see, as always, I will be back around lunch at 11 maybe 12 uh one of my breaks at around two or three after work at five and if we are still going strong we will keep coming back until i just have to go to sleep so <clears throat> i will see you guys in a couple of hours i am all together feeling myself <laughs> and yeah let's see how this lipstick wears all day Hey guys, okay, so it is right around noon. We are after lunch, and here is where we are. So right in the corners, you can see it's faded. It's not bad, like it's a more gradual fade, I guess, than like some of the lipsticks I've tried. But you can still see it's feathering a tiny bit but not too horrible and granted it has got a six dollar price point so that's fair but yeah it's still really comfortable it's not super drying at all and I mean even faded down it still looks pretty good 
not gonna lie except like right here but that's just because my lips are wet and so that fades off really easy with almost every lipstick but yeah that is it so far I will check back in after work and see how it's doing then but so far I do really like it and I've gotten a ton of compliments at work today on this color by a ton I mean like three but not that many people work in my office so that's a lot everybody has said so far that they really like it and they're kind of playing with the lipsticks uh, just to see if they like any of the colors to get their own but yeah so far it's really good this color is gorgeous even with it being as dark as it is it's still super wearable it doesn't look crazy I like it so we will see how we feel around five o'clock hey guys so I am home it is 3 30 that puts us at roughly seven hours of wear okay so it is definitely faded in the corners and of course the center like I showed y'all earlier but <clears throat> For this being such a darker color, it's actually fading really like nicely. Like it doesn't look bad. It's not quite where it was, but it's not that bad. I'm kind of impressed, especially for a $6 price point. It's not terrible. So, right there is terrible, but only in the right light. So we are going to go ahead and keep this on for a couple more hours. I will come back probably around six or seven, maybe six so we can get like a good 10 hours in because I have more filming to do tonight. I can't wink. Sorry, guys. But uh, <laughs> we will come back. We will see what we think. We have a cat. Kitty. Dola. She's loving, guys. Look at this. She's cleaning my hand for me. Anyways, we will come back. We will see what we think. And uh, we'll get some final thoughts soon. So I will see y'all in a little while. All right, you guys. So final check-in. Let me give you a time. It is just after 7. That means we hit about 11 hours of wear time. So, we're going to zoom on in, and the issues I'm having are mostly on my top lip is worse than my bottom. It's faded out all through here, a little bit through here. The corners are just really bad, like, they didn't hold through, faded a little on the edges. Okay, so as far as that goes, as far as I'm concerned, this was six dollars it's a very affordable brand uh, pretty relatively well known these days bad habit is gaining a whole lot of momentum for their dupes which I honestly can't tell you what this is supposed to do but I can't really tell like the packaging isn't exactly like anybody else's formula doesn't seem to be so far but as I do more wear tests I'll let y'all know if I see one that is performing exactly the same <laughs> but I mean, it held up pretty decent for it being such a dark color. Like, from a distance, it don't look that bad. You can't really even tell until you get, like, up close or if you're just really looking for it that it messed up in the first place. So, I don't have a whole lot of complaints there. Usually with a dark color, when they splotch off, like, from back here, you would still be able to tell that my lipstick was patchy. But it's not that bad. I don't know. Y'all correct me if I'm wrong. My viewfinder is really little, so I could be wrong. But, I mean, to me, like looking in my mirror in front of me, it's not tragic unless I'm just looking for it. So overall, I would say that I definitely think I would recommend these. I saw reviews from people who got it in PR that said it didn't stay on at all. It wasn't transfer proof at all. You know, whatever. I mean, they didn't say it was bad. They just said that it wasn't a long wear lipstick necessarily and it was going to fade a whole lot. And it did, but not as bad as I expected. It definitely did dry down, but it didn't dry my lips out all the way. So that's always a major plus because that's usually a problem I have by the end of the day. My lips are like cracking from my matte lipstick. So yeah, I gotta say this is pretty good. All the colors are super gorgeous. 
They did really good with the shade selection. I think there's a color for everybody. A lot of skin tones, all these colors are going to look good on you anyways. So, overall, two thumbs up for me. Definitely flow approved. And I will definitely be using these a lot more when they get more shades. I will update y'all. If they do, I'm sure they will eventually. I'll be sure to get them and do additional lip swatches. Probably just short in between videos for those. I just want to do an all day wear test for this first launch. But yeah, uh, that is it for today's video. I hope y'all enjoyed and I will see you in a couple of days. Bye you guys.